Hey everybody, Soda Hunter here. Today I have a plain, original Dr. Enough. I have had this soda once before, uh, well, a different flavor, the brand before. Uh, did a video on it, go check it out. It's uh, Cherry Dr. Enough, straight NyQuil. <laughs> like NyQuil flavored soda. Like uh, it's something you should drink if you have like a flu or something. It uh, wasn't very good at all. This one has a lot of stuff written on it. Um, enough is enough. Rich in vitamins. Uh, the original energy booster since 1949. Let's see what else here. It's got these ingredients. Uh, contains filtered carbonated water in bold letters. It says 100% pure sugar. Natural and artificial flavor: citric acid, uh, potassium, benzoate, uh, caffeine, niacin vitamin b3 time time and potassium iodide it's got all these things on it and it doesn't have a flavor on it <laughs> i hate sodas that do that um granted this isn't your typical uh you know go to the store get a coke type soda this is something different this is supposed to be an energy drink before energy drinks were around um really i just see that it's got a vitamin b3 um caffeine and real sugar energy <laughs> you know um yeah look there's no flavor anywhere the only thing i can take from it is that with a green tinted bottle and a somewhat clear soda it's got to be some kind of lemon lime thing right it's got to be some kind of citrus that's what I take from it, but I could be wrong. It could taste like cherry. I mean, well, I guess it wouldn't taste like cherry. Otherwise, it wouldn't have a cherry flavor. It could be orange. I don't. I have no clue what this could be. Um, white grape. I, who knows? It could just taste like water. Just hey, like taste like club soda or something. Who knows? There's your cap. It's very strange. Um, this is the only company I know of personally. I mean, there might be another one that does it, but I know Jones reseals it with aluminum caps. But this here is the only company I know that reseals their glass bottles with plastic caps. Straight off a 2 liter. You know, straight off a 20 ounce. It's the only one I know of that does that. So, uh, let's try this out. Make sure it's not going to foam over the... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm learning my lesson. Alright. Yeah, it's got a Sprite smell to it. That's what I figured. That's, that's about all I could figure, you know, because it doesn't tell me what it is at all. So, you assume, and I assume, Sprite. Well, actually, yeah, Sprite 7-Up, that, that type of uh, smell to it. And there it is, your clear soda. Fizzes a lot like a Sprite or 7-Up would. A little less, uh, less distinct than the, than the glass. But, yeah, I get uh, Sprite 7-Up out of that. So, I hated the Cherry Doctor enough. Uh, how am I going to like original? Let's see. Hmm. That's, that's interesting. That's, there's something different in that. There's some kind of nuttiness in it. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that. I was like, I detect a nuttiness. You know? <laughs> Something different in that. And I'm not quite sure what it is because it doesn't label it anywhere. Yes, the aftertaste is weird. Not a bad weird. I mean, you see, I, I drank it. <clears throat> it's not bad, but comparing it to the Cherry Doctor enough, it's like a hundred times better. This is completely drinkable. It's like a 7-Up, a little less sweet, with this nutty aftertaste that I cannot put my finger on. I don't know. It might be one of these, uh, well, it's got vitamin B3 and vitamin B1. I doubt it has a flavor. I don't know, something in the natural and artificial flavors, they added some kind of, some kind of nuttiness to it. 
um, if they didn't, they did it accidentally. There is, it's just something on the end of that that, that kind of perplexes me a little bit. That's weird, by the way. A glass bottle that's rich like that, it's very weird to drink. It just feels, doesn't feel right, you know? Hmm. The verdict on that will be buy a bottle, as far as the rating goes. It's not good enough to just stock up in your fridge or, or garage or whatever. But this is worth a try. Uh, it says it's an energy booster. We'll see. I think it's just going to get me hopped up on caffeine and sugar. It's not bad, though. It's not kind of underwhelming. Other than the little uh, flavor at the end of it. Other than that little nuttiness that's at the end of it. It's just a less sweet Sprite or 7-Up. And since uh, I kind of think Sprite's too sweet for my, my personal taste. The sweetness kind of messes with me. You know, kind of like a... I, I said this in another video, I think the LeBron video. I said in another video that it seems like to me whenever I drink a full 20 ounce Sprite, I end up getting a headache at the end of it for some reason. I don't know why that is. Um, I just have some kind of intolerance to that combination of of sugar, sweet, lemon, lime. It, it just it doesn't doesn't sit well with me. This here feels like it will sit a little better with me, but that whole drink combination right there just isn't. It just ain't for me. Um, so I would say buy a bottle of this, especially if you like the, uh, if you see this and you like Sprite 7-Up type sodas, that's going to taste exactly like that. Just less sweet. It's got a, got an interesting aftertaste, but it's not a great aftertaste by any means. It's just some kind of nuttiness at the end of it. You can't really put your finger on it. Maybe almond or something like that. Very strange. Drop the cap. That's the only difference I detect. Just a little interesting thing on the end of it. Other than that, very underwhelming. Uh, but good. It's drinkable. Leaps and bounds ahead of the cherry, Dr. Enough. That one was horrible. I, I swear, I, I still remember it. I remember it because you don't have that many sodas that are just gross. That one, I do believe I rated do not buy. It is. It was just gross. I mean, who wants NyQuil soda? <laughs> but this one is good. Uh, this one's by a bottle. This, this one's all right. I, you could drink it, and uh, doesn't seem like it affects you too bad. As far as that doesn't affect me too bad. As far as the after effects I usually get from drinking a lemon lime soda, but it's basic, very basic soda. Uh, if you like this video, follow me on Twitter at soda underscore hunter, Facebook.com slash soda hunter Kevin. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below, and be sure to check out the Soda Jerks on Twitter at the Soda Jerks, and check out the website the Soda Jerks .net, for hundreds more reviews just like this one. I went through that whole thing without flubbing it up. Maybe the doctor's working. Hmm. We'll see. And until next time, happy hunting.